Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here, and today I want to make a video about my favorite keyboards on iOS. So, um, ever since iOS 8, um, Apple has allowed third party keyboards on the iPhone and iPad, um, and I just want to uh, make a quick video about which ones are my favorite ones and which ones I use every single day. Um, so the most famous one that I use a lot and it's my favorite one right now is SwiftKey. Um, you probably heard of, about them already. They're super popular on Android. They were out on Android way before uh, Apple allowed third-party keyboards on the iPhone. Um, and SwiftKey is hands down one of the top uh, third-party keyboards on uh, iOS. Uh, next, of course, we have uh, Swipe also very good keyboard um, but there's some limitations to this keyboard that um, sometimes auto correction is not that good uh, prediction is not that good on this keyboard but it does everything really well if you're a fan of swipe um, it's a really amazing keyboard um, well one of the top ones out there as well like uh, it was with swift key as well there too um, so that one is Swipe, also very good keyboard on Android, super popular as well, this keyboard. Now the other one is called, next keyboard please, there we go, Gboard is a new keyboard that was released uh, earlier this year um, on iOS only right now. Um, it will be coming on Android soon, I don't know when, but it will. Um, so Gboard uh, is a keyboard from Google, um, which allows you to, of course, uh, has really good swiping, so you can swipe and all that stuff, really good at that. Uh, prediction, really super, super good, because, well, since it uses, I'm pretty sure it uses, I forgot uh, how, how it started before, but if it uses your Gmail account and all that stuff, then it knows a lot about you, because, well, when you use Gmail, uh, Google kind of reads, uh, um, what you're typing and everything so um, it's super good but it doesn't keep track of passwords or anything like that because iOS does not allow that which is one of my favorite things about the iPhone and the keyboards now even though these are my favorite keyboards on iOS um, there's still a lot of limitations I wish Apple allowed third-party keyboards like more access into uh, the iPhones into iOS so that you get more awesome features um, but this year uh, on iOS 10, uh, Apple finally allowed um, Siri, uh, they created a Siri a API, so developers will be allowed to integrate Siri into their apps. So I hope uh, SwiftKey might do something with Siri, uh, which will be really, really cool because you can only, Siri, you can only use Siri on the uh, default keyboard, which is not really good. But if you're um, not into uh, choosing any type of keyboards then the default keyboard works perfectly fine but if you want a uh, fast prediction fast swiping fast typing swift key swipe gboard those are my favorite keyboards on ios and yeah so i just want to make a small video about that um what were my favorite keyboards um so yeah but swift key top one number two will have to be gboard number three swipe so those are my three favorite keyboards on iOS. Uh, tell me what your guys' favorite keyboard is in, uh, in the comments below. And that's it for now, guys. And I will see you guys later. Peace.